What's up, everybody? My name is Dash. This is my YouTube channel, Dallas Flippin'. Where I show you the things I find at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, sometimes dig it out of the dumpster that I sell on eBay for a profit. Today is Saturday, September the 4th of 2021, and it is very, very hot. It's about 104 degrees here in Dallas, and there's not a whole lot going on garage sale wise. The uh, thrift stores are starting to wise up to what I'm doing and what other people are doing, and they're pricing stuff very competitively to the point where you can't buy it and make any money. But this is my haul video for today. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got at a garage, or several garage sales. I think I got a few things at a thrift store, maybe. So uh, let's start with the, uh, the, mo the most fun stuff. So yeah, this is from a thrift store. I got the Sims 3 introduction PC game, um, 95 cents. So I have the other expansions for this as well. I don't know if I'm gonna take that listing down and bundle them or sell this one by itself. I think I can get about 10 or $15 out of this because this is the original one. Um, Injustice, Gods Among Us uh, for the uh, Xbox 360. It's got the manual and everything. Really cool game. It's Batman, Harley Quinn, Joker. Basically all the DC Universe is a fighting game. I did play it on the Wii U. It was pretty fun, but I, I'm more of a Smash guy. So I paid $3 for that. I think I can get 15, what, 18 bucks out of it? Uh, 10 to 16. 10 to 16, I was close. Um, Got some more stuff at a garage sale. I paid a dollar a piece for these, so four dollars into it. We got Lawrence of Arabia uh, sealed DVD. I think that was about twelve dollars, maybe more, plus shipping. Uh, I got 007 Agent Under Fire for Xbox, regular Xbox, disc only. Um, I think I can get eight to ten dollars out of that. I got two what I would usually call like stupid games: um, Madden 2002 for Xbox and Madden 08 for Xbox. This one has the manual, this one does not. They're probably $6 games on a good day, but when you pay a dollar for them, it's not a big profit, but it's not, you know, it's worth picking up because you make some more money on these things like that. Um, that's all that's in the bag. I got this at a, a yard sale. They had $8 on it. And it is an M&M's Pendulum Wall Clock. New in the box, never opened. Very cool. There's only one other one available. I paid $5 for this. They had $8 on it. The only other one available is asking $120 plus $20 shipping. So I control the market on this. So, let's see, when was it made? 2011. I don't know. It's still pretty cool. Oh, the yellow M&M, the peanut M&M hangs down from the bottom. Because I see he's got a cord on him. That's why it's called the pendulum wall clock. Because he swings like a pendulum, I guess. Yeah. See on the back here. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I got these. Um, they were five bucks. I went and paid five. I got these for ten dollars. So five and five. They're Coca-Cola glasses, and they're very cool. There's supposed to be four of them in here, but they're very nice, like lead crystal. Kind of smell like smoke. The lady was like a chain smoker. But they're very cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep them myself because I'm really big into Coke. Or if I'm going to sell them. But when I scanned the UPC code with the eBay app, um, I didn't see any available, didn't see any soul comps, and I looked it up. Libby glasses, they were individual ones, but they weren't in this, in the case, like the original case. So hopefully I can corner the market on that since I have the only one. I get, no, this isn't the last thing. Um, my lovely girlfriend Dawn found this. It is a new wave, new wave infrared oven. And I thought, like, this is dumb. And she looked at me and she's like, you got to get this. I'm like, why? She's like, you have to get it. She's like, I'm like why? She's like, look, it's brand new. It's got all the manuals, everything. It's something you take camping with you and you, like, put food on it. We paid $10 for it. And new, they're selling for, what, 160 Something like that. The A plus shipping, I believe. So um, that was a, a good score. But nothing, you know, it's, it's not like... Not like a couple months ago when we were bringing home like, you know, Sega Genesis and stuff. So, let me get a knife. I gotta cut this box open. I have an addiction and a problem when it comes to buying Legos. Uh, and she's laughing at me right now, but I got this box for $9 and let's see what's in it. Oh, that's regular, regular Lego Spider-Man. That's pretty cool. Captain Hook. 
Lego Duplos is where it's at. We got a plane from Cars. There uh, was this in the garage or something like that. It's it's got spiderweb galore. A cannon. That's cool for a pirate ship. And I guess this is the pirate. I don't know who that is. Miguel the pirate. I don't, I don't know. It's got a bunch of stuff. Little Lego pieces. The kid with the oh, what? I his hat was on backwards. I guess it is. Yo yo yo. Vanilla baby ice. Vanilla icy. I don't know. It's just some really cool Lego oh, palm tree. That's awesome. I don't know how it works. But I won't bore you with the details if I look through this and pretend I'm six years old again. But yeah, um, that's really all that's going on. Not a whole lot happening here in Dallas uh, because of the heat. So I'm hoping that when the weather cools off, we will find some more cool stuff. So um, to anyone watching, taking things out of context or enjoying the... Um, content thank you um thank you for watching the video um remember not every day can be a good day you have to have bad days to have good days and good days to have bad days and if you're having a bad day there'll be a good day if you're having a good day well bad days are coming for you boy but uh on behalf of everyone here in dallas tyson dallas flipping i'm dashing i'll see you next time